Hello, dear beloved goddess, and welcome to this week's Thankful to Thrive Thursday. How you be? Let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Say hello in the comments. Let me know you're out there. And, uh, you know, what, do you have questions or do you have particular answers you're seeking? By all means. My inbox has an open heart policy, and I suppose on YouTube there isn't really an inbox. Aside from my comments, come into my notifications inbox. So I said just reach out. You can also reach out to me through my website, empowermentexperiences.com. There's that magic, wonderful little contact thing all the way down at the bottom. And I say all the way as if it's a long way. It's really not. That said, dear goddess, again, I reiterate, welcome to Thankful to Thrive Thursday, and oh my goodness, this week for me, how about you, this week for me has been a whole uh, week of finally letting go of more and more heavy shit that I've been carrying <laughs> for far too long, and the clarity that is being revealed as a result of this, this, this is why I'm thankful that um, Twin Flame Tuesday was so anchored on really connecting with what lights you up, focusing on you. Do not reach out to your twin. Focus on you and dear goddess, I'm here to tell you, whew, oh, it feels so much better to be in a much more clarified space Feeling so much more empowered, so much more clear, more and more and more on what you desire to be creating, regardless of what it looks out in the world right now, regardless of what it looks like, because dear goddess, believe you me, I have a lot of those moments, just like you, I'm sure, where you say, oh, it's never going to get better. We're never going to get to travel again. We're never going to get to back to quote normal. Um, that is not where your power is, goddess. That is it's not where your power is. Your power is in creating, is in designing what you desire to be experiencing, designing what you desire to be creating. So maybe right now in this exact moment, we can't just jump on a flight and travel the world. However, I bet there's some things you can be working on on yourself to align with having an even better experience doing that, right? You know, the more, again, we release this heavy baggage, the more liberated we feel. I mean, do you really want to be carrying, like, baggage on your trip? Or what about less is more? <laughs> what about less is more? And that is exactly what I especially have, as you heard in my last uh, one of my, was it Twin Flame Tuesday? Yeah, in the Twin Flame Tuesday one, where I was so excited about the clarity on the sessions that I offer now strictly 75 minute that's it dear goddess however that's it that's deep dive that's really looking at your personal challenges not anything for the collective it's all focused on you looking at what challenges you have and then addressing those diving in just for you right now it really is very much the collective and on us thankful to thrive Thursday this is, I love, I love when just, again, the intuitive messages just flow because this is exactly what I'm talking about, God is hope. So again, right now, you can't just jump on the plane and travel the world. However, now is that time to be going within, to be clearing away all the shit that would, you know, detrimentally impact or influence your future. The, the, the vision that you have come to create, especially you as a twin flame goddess, you are here anchoring the new earth. You are here creating your contribution to this new earth, co-creating with others. Do you really want to keep saying that, oh, it's, it's always going to be horrible. It's always going to be bad. I mean, does that feel good? Remember, we were talking about this on Tuesday. Does it feel good? Look, stay positive. I love an acronym for hope. Hold on, pain ends. It does. It does get better. But we've got to let off of the struggling, the suffering. And we've got to stop forcing ourselves to hold on to and carry bags upon bags upon bags of shit 
that does not serve us in these now moments except to look at it and go, okay, what can I learn from this? What can I extract from this? And let all the rest of that heavy shit go. So right now we're all looking very much so where our power is, which is within us. Realizing that I really do only have so much control over my outside world, except for the control that I have over my inside world. Because if I am going out places and I'm putting out good vibrations, like today, uh, this week, you know, um, for a couple days, we were having some challenges with the internet. Like it was the weirdest thing. My devices kept, it, it was just, it was just weird. And I actually finally called my internet provider. You know, it's been kind of wonky on one of my devices, but I figured it was just the device. Well, now it's starting to act up on my other devices. I mean, it has done it once or twice, but point being is finally I'm like, okay, let me call. Well, I neglected to do some of my research first and go, oh yeah, it's retrograde. It is Mercury retrograde. And, but when I called the internet provider, I was all happy and high vibe. And she was just like, oh my God, if I could have, if I could talk to people like you all day, I would have a great day every day. Oh my God. Thank you so much. And, you know, we didn't do a whole lot. We just kind of were like, oh, yeah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah, okay, well, this thing. you know, it wasn't like it was a big deal. It was just odd. And it was way too frequent that it was happening. But point was, I chose to stay positive. I chose to be like, oh, this is temporary anyway, whatever it is, you know, perhaps it was my hardware, you know, and I wanted to kind of go ahead and eliminate that. So, again, you are the creator here. Source, the winds of source are at your back. I hear Abraham say that. Abraham Hicks. The winds of source are at your back. You are so supported, dear goddess. So it's time. It's time that you look, look up to the light. It's time that you look up and within for the light because it shines so bright. It's out there and inside you. And when we truly tap into and connect with all of that, we really are in that flow, that flow energy of creating. And like I've said, right, there's just been such a, oh, like even, I even find that I'm starting to be like, I just want to chill a little bit. Oh, I feel the, you feel when you've let go of shit, right? Goddess, feel that. So feel more of that. Trust. <laughs> oh, really? Seriously? Trust that you are getting what you need from this space where you've been. It's time to let it go. Trust that what you're letting go of is something you don't need to be holding on to. Because if you're holding on to something that causes you to feel heavy, burdensome, cumbersome, uh, guilt, shame, blame, anything lower vibrational, heavy, you, you need to look at what you're carrying, why you're carrying it, and... Um, when you're going to let it go. All right. Uh, what is the lesson in it? And then let that shit go. Do the work around it. Forgiveness and such. And that's why I'm so excited. That's one of the things again. We're just right there. Uh, literally like days away from pressing start for my seven day self love empowerment challenge. Twin flame edition. And in that we really focus on you trusting yourself. Being present. Being coming home to you. You know, this is how we come into union with our twin. I find the more and more work I do on myself and I, I pull back from him and, and come more into me. And just like on Twin Flame Tuesday this week, it was about calling back your energy, even from him, because you don't have power over him. Save for the power you have over you, your point of attraction, whatever you emit, that's what you get. And this I find anytime I go anywhere right now, not that I go a whole lot of places. <laughs> when I do, I, I, I vibe my shit up <laughs> because I want to make sure that I'm being a light. I'm, I'm bringing hope in a world that's definitely exceedingly dark right now, it seems. And that's growth. That's growth for me. That's growth just like for all of us. There's so much, there is so much growth happening right now, individually, collectively, uh, in the twin flame realm, because there's a lot of, of space where those who are inauthentic are going to be really being revealed. Those are, 
those who, you know, because I'm, I'll be the first one to always tell y'all that I'm a self love empowerment count coach count. What the, what? I'm a self love empowerment coach. I had that foundation and was building that coaching business before I ever met my twin flame, and I didn't even believe in twin flames when I met my twin. You want to talk about growth, goddess? You want to talk about growth, goddess? I didn't even believe in them until nine months in, and because of my anchoring into my knowing and trusting my journey and such. And that's, I mean, I flew around the world to meet him in person less than three months, in less than three months time. It was insane and, and incredible and amazing all at the same time. But it's really looking at that space going, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that you need to make this left turn and those two right turns and do, no, because only you can know your journey. So that means I, myself, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that I have the exact answer for you to come into union with your twin. What I do know for sure is the path to union is to coming home to union within. That you are misaligned with union anyway when you are not focusing on your growth and focusing on coming into union inside you. I'm sitting here oh, as witness to, as testament to this twin flame journey that as you shift, as you do the work, woo, it is mirrored a true twin flame connection that shit's mirrored every single time, every time. And I mean, I even was seeing this before I, again, before I even believed or even knew that we were in twin, when we're twin flames, which was before I believed we were. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, okay. <laughs> but I know self-love empowerment, dear goddess. You can read all about my own self-love empowerment journey on my blog. I'm officially publishing a, an unofficial, a, an officially unofficial blog, uh, bio, which is like, just means it's just my short version of it. Uh, bullet points, you could say of my life, my journey. Uh, there's two parts, so be sure to check. And that's empowermentexperiences.com. And you want to go straight there at slash blog at the end of that puppy. All right. Uh, oh, sorry there, bibs. Sorry there. So being aware, being very, very aware of what you are giving your attention to, of what you are feeding your energy. Be aware of your thoughts. We've been talking about this for a minute here because you are anchoring the new earth. You are here to amplify love. You are here to shine your light. But that means that you've got to be aware of when you are feeding that darkness, of when you are feeding the shadow instead of playing with the shadow, so to speak, instead of having this little dance with the shadow and, and again, looking at what it's gifting you in a lesson, because that, that's what it is. It's, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that <laughs> growth is painless. I mean, hello, they are called growing pains. Okay. They are, are, yeah. Growing pains. Okay. Uh, well, holy moly, there we go. <laughs> we got these two puppies. Don't do what am I just saying? You're here to shine your light, goddess. That's why you're here. You're not here to tell yourself that, oh my God, I can't do that because uh, someone might, you know, make fun of me or think I'm an idiot. Oh my God, I can't wear that. Oh God, someone's going to think that looks just horrible on me. I mean, really? I mean, listen, right off the bat, you're already putting yourself in a box, right? It's like, wait a minute, how can I show up fully authentically me today? How can I just be in my zone, be in my bubble and not, and, and be the one that's actually influencing my outside world? Because again, I, I am a freedom fighter. I am that person that does not wear a mask. I have like maybe worn one tw twice and it's lace. Thank you. Um, I, I, I'm just like, no, but I have a past. I have a history of not being able to breathe before. And, and I know some, yeah, we're not going to get into that. Point is when I go out, see, see pivot. I'm like, woo, I could feel, I could feel my vibe starting to lower there. So when I go out, I am in my place. I am respectful of everybody else doing my thing, taking care of what I need. And I have staff at my regular grocery stores that they look forward to me coming in there. They're just like, you're a breath of fresh air. We're so, I'm so grateful you're here. And no, no, you're cool. It's fine. You know, it's amazing. 
It's really, it's really amazing. That's what free will is about is every single individual, every single sovereign being has free will choice because you are a sovereign being. You are here to be a full expression of you and anything that, that stifles that something's not right. And you need to look at that. That means you're dimming your light to fit in and it's time to stop. You know, right now, it's, it's huge to be, and I'm grateful this card came up because I, even I personally needed to see this for, for Thankful to Thrive. Right now, we feel like we're somewhat barely surviving, but I know that as you, as you declutter your space, as you release things that, that no longer serve you, that you are going to feel better and better and better. Um, and you're going to feel less heavy. You're going to feel more optimistic. You're going to be more willing to accept that, yes, yes, this is all divine plan. I am so grateful that I get to be a part of this. That as crazy as it looks outside, everything's fine. Everything is going according to plan. Divine plan. Even your personal journey, your twin flame journey, the human collective journey, the ascension journey. This is again why it's also so important to be checking in with yourself. Be checking in with yourself and be getting clear on your own energy. Be able to really, truly connect with yourself and trust yourself because every single Self-love empowerment journey is uniquely divine. How would it truly benefit Source if even two people, two souls, were having the exact same experience? Exact. What? How? Well, I mean, that in the realm of possibility, all things are possible. I mean, that is definitely an avenue of education that Source could uh, clearly explore. So I'm not going to sit here and say, "Oh, that's an impossibility." But really, if every single person was all on the exact same journey, okay, that might be a little excessive, right? We can, we are here to expand, grow, wait, learn, grow, expand, and ascend. That's what I like to say. So, as such, on this journey, this is so important for you to, again, be coming home to you. Connecting with nature right now. So you can, you see my, my backdrop. I'm going to be sharing more and more of that with you. And there's, there's more in some of my videos as well lately. Um, I'll be sharing more of that. I've literally created a whole ambiance. I even just got my new green shag rug that I kid you not, goddess. It is the exact color that's on my wall. Like I'm literally manifested check, manifesting check, manifest. Literally I'm not going to think. Hey, so I can't fly to my love in India right now, but you bet your bottom dollar I can create me this whole, I mean, I literally have been repotting plants and I got, there's, this is awaiting its pot, its uh, plants that are uh, being seeded or rooted right now, growing roots. So I'm bringing nature to me. I really am working hard to bring nature to me to really create my own little bubble. Right now, that's, again, you, you are being asked to really come home and explore you. Stop getting something because you, it's habit. You know, really ask yourself, what do you like? Just like me with my rebrand and using Pegasus, because I was like, I really, really like my Pegasus. I mean, uh, you know, and I'm working on my blog story as to my relationship with Pegasus and my journey and, and, and such and why a Pegasus and especially what my logo, my new logo means. It definitely means something. Um, but that's, that's all there. And all of that has come from really taking the time to explore myself. When I started my business, goddess, you can go back and see some of my other stuff some of my older stuff. I still even am going to keep my uh, Facebook page, even though I'm not doing a lot with it. I am posting, but empowerment experiences. Uh, I have been, of course, divinely guided to, to this healing twin flames journey. I had, I did not see it. Goddess. I did not see this shit coming. 
But then do we really see it coming? We just can sense something's coming. We can sense there's some learning happening. Oh. And 114, goddess, I can tell you right now that 114, because it is one of my own personal angel numbers, uh, for me personally, angel number 114, that is the date that I landed in India. This is 114 for me is also the date of transition for my Cleopatra Devi, who was one of my FELV kitties. And I'll be sharing more about their journey. And then 114 p.m. is the time of transition for her brother, Theodore Maxwell. Another one of, there were four FELV uh, kitties in that litter and they were all my babies. So 114 is very much rooted in that love number, amplifying love, being present, living life here and now, really truly anchoring in, grounding, where did it go, right here, really grounding in here and now, being present. That is one of the greatest lessons that my FELV Brat Pack, that's their little name, I need to log back into my Instagram and make that account public so you can see some of their story. Um, but that said, 114 is, again, really, really rooted in that uh, being, be here now, be here now, be, be in this present moment, be grounding in to where your power is, which is only right here and right now. I mean... Cleopatra Davy and was the reason I picked January 14th. I mean, that is her date. And sure enough, Arizona local time. All right, I'm really needing to pull another angel number, it seems, I'm feeling, before I dive into our animal messengers, because I'm feeling this tonight. Feeling this tonight for thankful to thrive. Yeah. Oh. And number 16, which I don't have that off the top of my head. That is a number that's going to be wonderfully delivered uh, in the description below. As, like I said, it's, I don't have that one. That one is not one that I have rooted for myself. And that's it. I know a large selection of the angel numbers because I've experienced them very much in my life. Yeah. All right. So animal messenger. Let's see what we have. Ooh, goddess, praying mantis. So I'm, and that, oh my gosh, that I can tell you right now because I had, uh, it was two summers ago. I had, I was visited twice in one week by praying mantises, literally visited. Once I was sitting on my back porch and one literally came over to the, ed I'm saying literally a lot, but it's for real, came over to the edge of my autumn and I, I didn't know that's what it was. I just saw something out of the corner of my eye and I'm like, oh God, what is beneath my feet right here? And I leaned down real slow and he and I, we just looked at each other for a minute. He was down there. I mean, it was probably a good two or three minutes that we just looked at each other. And in this stillness, in this moment, so a praying mantis is again, be here now. So you have 114 and a praying mantis that right here, both of them are talking about really being in the present moment, which got us that's the only place that you can truly tap into your awareness. Being here now is in, in acknowledging your growth and that what that pain is teaching you. You have to be present to truly trust. Being right here now is what allows you to shift that perspective and have control over your focus. It allows you to be in your power being right here right now. So definitely a praying mantis has that meaning and we will see once I explore more what they are but you can definitely read those down below in the description that said dear goddess when you are ready to book your own 75 minutes intuitive clarity coaching session uh, in these sessions we start with coaching I, I really truly want to have a conversation with you I want to I want you to have your voice all right I want you to know someone hears you and I'm here to support you, to guide you into and through finding your power in any area of your life wherein you feel like you have none. I know, I know this journey. Like I said, read the blog, for real, read the blog, all right? But that's why I wanna hear about you. I wanna hear about your journey and your challenges and what we can do. Let's discover what we can do together so you can get unstuck 
find your power and move forward and be creating a vision, a life that you desire. Be really coming home to union within, which is to be connecting with that power, that goddess power inside you. Because that's what you are, dear goddess. That said, this is Rochelle Richard with Empowerment Experiences on your Healing Twin Flames journey, guiding you into and through finding your power in every moment. And I'm here to remind you that the power is in your hands, goddess. Right there. Because it's always been inside you. Namaste.